Hello YouTube, it is I, Voltor. Can you see what I see? Oh, what is that? Let's get a closer look, shall we? Hmm. Maybe this will help you. Ah. Better, right? Yes. Yes, indeed. It has been completed. Quite beautiful, don't you think? I mean, yeah, the work's kind of rough and quite frankly shoddy. I could have done better if I put more time into it. Um, if I put more planning into it. I just kind of threw this thing together. But, uh, most of the time was spent on the power supplies. Let me show you those. Okay, what we got here is a Condor uh, power supply. Uh, bought brand new from Mauser. Eh, it cost a pretty penny. It's a dual output, plus minus 15 volts. And then next to it we have this little guy. It's a international power little 5 volt supply Roger Eric uh, builds modules that require both plus and minus 15 and 5 volts so I needed two power supplies that would do that I tried to find a triple output supply but they're all ridiculously expensive and the one that Eric sells himself is ridiculously expensive. I did my own wiring job. I bought the wiring harness. Obviously, this is the wiring harness and mess there. But this is my my own work here. Uh, can you see that? Yeah, there you go. I did that. I did that myself. I wired that. I did a good job. Let me show you the other side of this thing. Mm. More of the same, more of the same. Zoom on the camera. Okay, there we go. So basically what we have back here is this piece of sheet metal that uh, I actually used the last of my um, Union Jack black aluminum plate because uh, I needed to. Um, what we have here is the AC power uh, intake. Um, I hope I did this right. I, I, uh, I'm pretty sure I did. Um, from what I could tell from the wiring harness shown on the synthesizers.com website, I, I'm pretty sure I, I nailed it. Uh, not much to screw up there actually. So we got the ground going to the ground and the ground being, uh, uh, where's the ground at? You see where the ground is? I can't see where the ground is. It's in there somewhere. But yes, this is a two tier setup. Um, rather than build two boxes and bolt them together, which would have actually been heavier, 
what I did was I built one box and did a little cutsy cutsy using power drill, Dremel tool, hacksaw, you name it I used it. Um, because I did not have the patience to just cut it with a hacksaw. And that's all I have is a hacksaw. Um, so I, I bolted this uh, three-sided box that you see here onto the four-sided box that you see here. And uh, it works. It's actually very sturdy. Um, I'm quite surprised at how sturdy this thing actually is because um, there are no 90 degree angles on the wood itself. I actually adjusted for height uh, bolting the sides together as evidenced by creases in the velvet. Um, let's see, what else can I say? These rails are pine. I couldn't find any hardwood rails at the uh, at the local store, but these these will work out just fine, actually. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's my steampunk case. These are my steampunk goggles, and. Uh, that's a piece of extra board. So, it being 4 o'clock in the morning, I'm going to bed now after I put this up on YouTube. Uh, good night, everybody.